Hey, 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 what is up, Cartubers? Diego here. Welcome to another Sports Cards Detour video where we're going to be taking a look at some of the cards that I got from Greg Clark over at a Glove and Beyond TV. He has sent over a massive stack of cards, and I am truly appreciative of every single one of them. But uh, what he did was he opened up a can of worms for me to do videos with. Uh, actually, I've got to do like a six-part video just to get most of these cards in um, because I, I'm going to want to show them off all. Uh, so let's get started. with uh, One of my biggest stacks is the football stack. Um, yeah, so we'll go through there. Most of those guys are Steelers. Most of these guys are Steelers, so that's a pretty stacked pack. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We got some Russell Wilson, the newest quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. <clears throat> we got him on Legends of the Fall. Now, before he went to the Broncos, and I heard all the stories about him being how he is, I, I used to collect a lot of uh, Russell Wilson because – uh, it was mostly because he was a baseball player and I had his Colorado Rocky card. And then that just opened up a can of worms there with me looking for some of his cards. Here we have a Super Bowl poster. This one right here was my birth year of 1975, although I wasn't born yet. Um, the Steelers had won the Super Bowl. Here we got another quarterback that's soon to be on the Steelers, Justin Fields. Don't know for how long, but he's up there currently at the time of making the video. Then I got a bunch of other cards here. We got Le'Veon Bell. Rookie card, rookie impact, Le'Veon Bell, who I think he said it was, he really feels it was like a mistake to leave the Steelers. Here we got Antonio Brown, somebody who just... I think he was really good with the Steelers. Like, as much as he had um, issues towards the end of his career with the Steelers, he was still a really good receiver. He's like one of the guys you could really count on, especially uh, um, Ben Roethlisberger. Like, sometimes Ben can throw a ball that wobbled, and uh, Antonio Brown will still get it for him. Uh, here we got a superb uh, Leaf certified patch card with James Conner. Really respect this story. Nice little three color or two color patch there, black and yellow. I like that one. Here we got a collegiate card of Minka Fitzpatrick. Kevin Green. I remember his time with the Steelers. That was pretty cool. Got a legend running back, Franco Harris. The current running back, Najee Harris, on this nice acetate card, rookie. Here's Najee Harris again, but this one is with his collegiate uniform from Alabama. James Harrison, mean looking dude. Don't want to line up against that guy. There's another James Harrison right there. About to make a cut on the on the Kansas City Chiefs. Cameron Hayward rookie card. Definitely had a pretty good career. Or he's having a pretty good career with the Steelers. Here he goes. Here's a rookie card right there. Tops Chrome. And here's one that he's a sack attack. Taking down Carr. Here we got Cameron Hayward, Makeup Fitzpatrick, and TJ Watt, 3D. That's a nice card there. Got the other number 10, Santonio San Holmes. Good receiver. Got an autograph card here of Landry Jones. I don't even remember Landry playing like one game for the Steelers. I don't remember many more, but that's a pretty cool card to have. A nice little autograph. Hey, a lot of people TTM and uh, sometimes just having the autograph of somebody on your team is pretty cool. Um, or that played for your team, I should say, not my team. Here we got a, 
uh, uh, Sports Illustrated cutout of Rashad Mendenhall. He was. He, I, I started liking him as a running back. One of my favorite defensive guys, Troy Palomalo. I think he's everybody's one of everybody's favorite uh, running back. Or sorry, defensive players. There's another Troy Palomalo right there on this brilliance. Nice blue and shiny card. Longtime quarterback Ben Roethlisberger for the Steelers coming in on the intros. Here we got. Here we have him with his. Um, College to Pros card right there from the Miami of Un of, uh, the Miami of Ohio on um, up to the Steelers. So pretty close. Here's one that's numbered to 299. Ben Roethlisberger on a Leaf certified orange. That's a pretty cool card right there. We have oh this one's pretty nice. Emmanuel Sanders. Kind of wish it was a different player on there, but uh, that's a cool finest atomic rookie. Nice little die cut card there for Mr. Emmanuel Sanders. Ryan Shazier, another one of the guys that I really liked on defense, but his career was uh, ended short uh, abruptly uh, with injury. One of my favorite receivers, but not in fantasy wise, but he was one of my favorite receivers. <laughs> uh, fantasy wise, he would always give me like zero points or 20 points or zero points and 50 points. And all depend on what kind of game plan they had, but it was frustrating to have him at fantasy, but I still liked him because he did play hard. And that's Heinz Ward right there. Got another Heinz Ward. This one's even better. This one's a, a prism card. Look at that. I like that. Nice and shiny. Nice Heinz Wards card right there. Current favorite, TJ Watt. Definitely the cornerstone of that defense right now. I just hope that they can make it so when he's, if he does get hurt or something, they can still play or manage without him. But. Not too much where he, he has to go. <laughs> but this card is numbered to 299. Nice little elite extra edition. Here he is doing his kick right there. That's pretty cool. After a sack celebration. Here we got Rod Woodson. Before those Palomalo. Everybody loves some Rod Woodson. Hard hitting. Here's Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. A nice combo for a while there with the Steelers. Here's another Antonio Brown die cut. That's a pretty cool card right there. I like how they take the little excerpt out of the a picture and then put, you know, here's one pic photo and then here's another photo, black and white, of him in action. And his die cut and it has an X. I just think that's a really neat looking card there. Here's one of those pennants with Antonio Brown on it. I think that's pretty cool too. Antonio Brown and the Beehive on top's finest. I think that one Antonio Brown must have came out of, uh, must have fell out from where it was. Here's a rookie in stars with uh, die cut of Antonio Brown. Here's his rookie card. Pretty cool. Then we got uh, TB12 OG. Terry Bradshaw, the X Factor. That's a pretty cool card there. Number 12, TB12. Uh, here's another Bradshaw, Legends of the Shield. And then we have Prestige Super Bowl Heroes. That's a pretty nice one. Some information about the Super Bowl there and the win. Over the Texas or Dallas um, Cowboys. Got some more cards here. I got a Bud Dupree or Alvin Dupree, but I know him as Bud Dupree. Rookie card. Autograph. That's really nice. Then we got some of my uh, favorite players here. We got a rookie card of Cordell Stewart. Here we got another card here of Cordell Stewart on this, um, I forget what they call it, EX 
but that's pretty cool. It goes from the acetate, the shiny to the um, gray area to the the shiny part. I mean, this acetate part. That's pretty cool. Here's a Cordell Stewart on the 1996 Flare Ultra Sensations. Nice little insert card there. And then we have Maximum Impact, Cordell Stewart. All-time favorite uh, running back of the Pittsburgh Steelers. But here he's with the Rams during his rookie year. Jerome Bettis. Then here he is right here, Gridiron Legends with the Steelers. And then also on the 50... A Super Bowl um, card of a Super Bowl die cut card of Jerome Bettis. That's pretty cool as well. Some top loaded cards here. Although I have all that stuff up there. You got Heath Miller. Nice patch card there. A black patch card from Select. Here we have Cordell Stewart with a coin. That's pretty cool. From the mint condition and the coins on there. So that's even, you know, makes it even better. Here we have Cordell Stewart on this um, feature films. Uh, I guess you, you can see that really well. You can see the little excerpt, of, um, the little picture from there. But that's a pretty cool card right there. I like how they did that. Flare Showcase. Feature film. You can see the card itself, Cordell Stewart's card. And then you can see like a piece of film. I think that's pretty really cool. And I like that they give credit to the photographer for that. And then we got some more um, Jerome Bettis cards with the Rams on the edge. Here he is, Rookie Glory, upper deck. We got an autograph of Marcus Wheaton, number to 50. Thank you very much for that. Uh, here's Troy Palomalu on a nice little mini with his uh, head and shoulders commercial hair. <laughs> and then we got uh, Sean Spence. Although that does not look like his autograph. That would look like, that does not look like it would be his autograph. It looks like somebody with a Ma A. <laughs> but hey, well, you know, it is what it is. And then we got Troy Palomalu on this nice Topps Chrome. Nice Topps Chrome. What year is that? It's 2009. Pretty cool card right there. All right. So that's what I got from uh, Greg over at Glove and Beyond TV. And that was part two of a six-part series. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed all the Steelers cards. And until next time. Well, thanks a lot for looking and listening, folks. I enjoyed being with you. So long, everybody.